thing, not a bad thing. But we were tough with China, too. We took in hundreds of billions of dollars worth of taxes and tariffs. No other president took in 10 cents. When we win on day one, I will tell Pennsylvania to drill, baby, drill. We're going to drill, baby, drill. And you know, a man named Mark Levin, does anybody know Mark Levin? He's great. But he said something to me. He said, you know, he loves this country so much. His show is fantastic. And I do an interview with him this weekend, so I hope you're going to watch. But he's very smart, very tough, but he really loves the country, and he hates what he sees happening. But he sent me something. He said, if you'd like, you can read this at your rally today. And if you like it, you can use it anytime you want. And I think I'm going to do it because it's not very long, and we have plenty of time, and it's only about 100 degrees in here. It's actually not that bad. But Mark is a great man, and he's a great patriot. And he writes, here's what we know about Comrade Kamala Harris. She just doesn't care about the American people especially hard-working, middle-class Americans. She just doesn't give a damn about you. She does not care about the deaths, sex, slavery, drugs, criminals coming across our border. She has been vice president for nearly four years, and she did nothing to stop it. All she does is complain. She says it's not her job, but it is her job. She does not care about the middle class struggling over inflation, the cost of gasoline, electricity, or the cost of food. She does not care if you lose your job or cannot find a job. She does not care if you have to run up your credit card. She does not care if your family are struggling, and she did absolutely nothing to fix it. She's the vice president, but she just does not care. She does not care about women's rights because she supported destroying women's sports and athletic scholarships. She wants men to play in women's sports. She does not care about protecting little children from sex change operations because she chose Tampon Tim as a running mate who believes the state, not mothers and fathers should have the final say on sex change operations for their children. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe that? Kamala Harris wants to outlaw your car and truck and force you to buy electric vehicles, whether you like them or not, whether you can afford it or not, and they don't go far. She does not care how it impacts you or your family. Kamala Harris does not care about senior citizens because she believes illegal aliens should receive Social Security and Medicare, which she knows will bankrupt those insurance programs, making it impossible for you to receive your pension and health care, which you paid for for your entire working life. That's true. She wants to destroy your private health care, even if you like it, even if your employer contributes to it. And she wants Washington, D.C. to make your medical decisions. She wants Washington to decide what procedures and medicines and care you should receive. Whether or not you like it is not important. Kamala Harris had nearly four years to show us who she is. She is an uncaring politician with a radical ideology. She is a Marxist. Despite her campaign of lies and flip-flops, we know who Kamala Harris is. We know by her actions, and we know by her inaction. We know she does not care about working people, about the middle class, about any of our great American citizens. She does not respect you. Ask the families of the 13 service member heroes who died during the surrender of Afghanistan if Kamala Harris cares about our young people. Just ask them that question. Does she care about our military? The answer is no. Ask the cops in the street trying to protect you from murderers, rapists, and thugs if Kamala Harris cares about law-abiding citizens. Ask the families of women raped and murdered by illegal aliens 
and the teenagers cut to shreds by gangs from El Salvador and Venezuela if Kamala Harris cares about you. Harris has opposed school choice for poor inner-city kids. She's opposed police in schools to protect your children. And she's defended stocking school library shelves with filthy graphic books. She refused to prosecute pedophiles who molested your children. When she was DA and AG in California, two places she absolutely destroyed. Does this sound like someone who cares about children? <laughs> Kamala Harris has failed you. She has failed as vice president. She has broken trust with you. She has done nothing for the middle class, working families. She's done nothing even for hardworking people. Your eyes don't lie. You see it. We all see it. She's sitting as the vice president of the United States, and yet nobody knows who the hell she is. She does not give a damn about you. This is the real Kamala Harris, and now she wants a promotion. Well, I'm here to give her a demotion, not a promotion. She can hide and she can lie all the way through and with her surrogates and the corrupt media. But the truth is coming out. Right now, it's already coming out much faster than I thought. The American people are smart. They will not be manipulated by Hollywood, the fake news media, and all of the advertising. And you deserve a president who respects you, talks to you, who levels with you, and who always has your best interests at heart. This November, we are going to tell Harris that we've had enough, that we can't take it anymore. You've done a terrible job. Kamala, you're fired. Get out. Get out.